Welcome back to Wasteland 3, folks. Let's talk to these guys. Good to finally meet you, November. I'm Sergei Gretzky. I'll be handling a lot of the logistics around the base, so you can focus on what you're here to do. Okay. These volunteers you mentioned, where are you getting them from? We need to manage, we need to manage our active rangers. You're going to be our chief of security. Want to know more about you. Uh, if you're going to be happy to tell you what you need to know. Uh, so what's your story? Well, came here with my folks when I was a kid and was a young man when Saul was trying to unite the families and make Colorado a state. I got behind him right away. He had leader written all over him, even back then. I've served at his side ever since, fighting against the monster army, consolidating power here in town. Helping him expand our borders. Well, okay. the fighting's never really ended. Trying to hold it all together is a constant struggle. This business with his children is just the latest in a long line of troubles. Okay. Served with the Patriot for so long. <laughs> I do indeed. Some folks can't get past his brusque ways, but that's just the impatience of a man who knows what's right dealing with fools who don't. He cares too deeply about the well-being of the people of Colorado to let political courtesy slow him down. Of course, you'll hear a lot of folk condemning him for hurting this group or that group with his decisions, but the way I see it, they should be glad it wasn't them who had to make the choice. Fair enough. Uh, I don't really care about the stories. Let's talk about Happy something too. else. What's on your mind? These volunteers you mentioned. Well, I've got friends in the marshals, the Patriarch's Palace Guard, and some local militias. They've always got more folks wanting to sign up than they have positions for. So I asked my pals to send over everybody on their waiting lists. Now, some of these folks may be uh, less than top grade for sure, but most will be solid recruits, ready and willing to learn. You'll have to pick and choose. Okay. Uh, we need to manage our... My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. Nobody can be great at everything. So, pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. Good advice. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Kay. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. Okay. So, the player created characters acquired in each party. Okay, we can have more parties than one? I didn't know that. So, not right now, anyway. New recruits Axel, Banshee. Uh, wait. So we have automatic weapons, weapon modding, and lock picking. Uh, melee combat, first aid, and armor modding. So we do have armor modding. Okay. Let's pick a recruit. So mechanics, small arms, and weapon modding. Sniper rifles, small arms, and sneaky shit. Survival, sniper rifles, first aid, brawling survival, hard ass, melee combat, lock picking, sneaky shit, nerd stuff, sneaky shit, automatic weapons. That might be interesting with the nerd stuff. Barter, small arms, hard ass, automatic weapons, armor modding, weapon modding. Big guns, first aid, explosives, sniper rifles, sneaky shit, weapon modding, automatic weapons, explosives, leadership, small arms, toaster repair. That might be interesting as well. And weird science. He might be interesting, she might be interesting. Uh, Sasquatch, survival, melee combat. And mechanics. 
shell shock, automatic weapons, armor modding, and leadership. Thunder is explosive, big guns, and armor modding. Kiss ass, automatic weapons, and barter. And big guns, mechanics, nerd stuff. That's interesting too. That's very interesting too. So, she has five skills, he has six skills. Keeps jumping up, that's really annoying. Uh, big guns, mechanic, some nerd stuff. Nerd stuff, sneaky shit, automatic weapons. I think we'll go with him. Energy fire, cold, and explosion damage. Elemental weapons ignore enemy armor entirely. The four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and explosive damage. Enemies are often weak to some elemental damage types and resistant to others. Okay. So we now have Seuss. Do we want to get one more? I'm not actually sure. Hmm. So we have the nerd stuff, so it would be him. Small arms, toaster repair, and weird science. Or we can create a custom character. I'm not that fond of the small arms thing, to be honest. Hmm. I think we will take him. Okay, there you ready. Go. Anything else? Uh, no, not right now. I'll be here. Wouldn't hurt to see if we can get the garage up and running. Be cheaper than hiring an outside mechanic. You look okay. like you can use an extra gun. Let me know if I can be of some assistance. All right, he wanted to come with us. Mm. Let's see. What's your honest op opinion of the marshals? Huh. You trying to get me in trouble with Daisy? The marshals are great. The best. Okay. Okay, that's. Well, we're fine. They're fine. But if they were perfect, the Patriarch wouldn't have called you, right? True. The problem with the Marshals is, we don't work for the people of Colorado Springs. We work for the Patriarch. And that means we're more enforcers than police, which can lead to a certain, uh, smugness among some of the troops. Mm -hmm. They know they're untouchable. They know citizen complaints aren't going to be listened to, mostly. So they think they can do whatever they want. And they do. So... They're not loved. The Marshals. Not trusted, either. Okay. What do you think I of the political not. situation Seriously, in Colorado? It's above my pay grade. And there's a crisis coming, for sure. The old man's on his last legs. His kids are a nightmare. And nobody else around here has the power and smarts to pick up the reins when he drops them. I'm just glad it's not my job to think about it. My job is to do what the Patriarch says until he dies. Then do what Daisy says after that. Hopefully neither of those things involves hurting too many people along the way, but if it does... Well, that's my job. Okay. We'd like you Great. to join our squad. I'm at your disposal. Lead the way. Companions. You recruited your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers you create, companions are pre-made characters that have their own personality and agenda. Piss them off and they could leave you high and dry. Okay. 
You can have up to six characters in your squad. Up to four of them can be ranger recruits, leaving at least two spots open for companions. There's no reason not to take them along, provided you can maintain their loyalty. Okay. So, let's have a look at these guys. You have a flamethrower, med hypo, and a repair kit. Okay, you have a Molotov cocktail. Uh, we have flamethrower fuel for him. Okay, you, you have a laser pistol. Okay, and a med kit. I guess the energy cells is ammo for his stuff. And then you, Marshal Kwan, you have the convincer, an assault rifle using 7.62 ammo. Hmm. Sniper rifle, war pig, heavy machine gun. Requires big guns one. So it will, could be an option to give him that. But I don't mind him having the flamethrower right now. Let's try that. Um, hmm. We also have the rocket things. which require one explosive, so we want him to get explosives as well. Uh, attributes, he has one attribute point remaining. He has really good speed and strength and intelligence. Um, let's take a look at your skills. You have six skill points remaining. Big guns, Rem recommended attributes are awareness, coordination and strength. Okay. So we want you to get some explosives damage, some explosives knowledge. So we'll give you that. Then I think. We'll do this. So that we get those up. Okay. And attributes. Confirm. It was coordination. What was it? Uh, coordination, awareness, and strength. So his coordination could do with some loving, tender care. So what could awareness... Let's give him more coordination. And then let's take a look at you. You have one attribute point left. You have six skill points. So this is coordination, luck, and awareness. Uh, hmm. Thinking of giving him some first aid because uh, you have first aid, okay. But not might not be bad to have two people with first aid. Increases damage to deal with unconventional types of weapons and serves as a requirement for exotic high tech equipment. Okay. So that's the laser stuff. Uh, 
Let's put one point in each here. And we want to give him first aid. Do I want to give him first aid? That's a very good question. Let's put that in there and we will consider what we want to spend the last one on or we can save it. Uh, so that was uh, coordination, luck and awareness. And I think I will build his coordination up. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at Marshal Quan. He has automatic weapons, kiss ass, and sneaky shit. Okay, that's pretty good. And. Quite the old rounder, really. Okay. Well, uh, we need to go to the inventory, and we're gonna steal that uh, and give it to you because you need it. Okay. So where are our dudes? We have... Is that all of us? Let's just see. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Okay. Now, there was a toaster over here. So I want you. Or was it you who had toaster repair? You have toaster repair. All right, let's try that. I, I want to see what this toaster thing is. really want to see what this toaster thing is. Okay. Tarjan token. A brass token inscribed with a scowling face and the name Tarjan. I think it doesn't seem very useful. Uh, toaster repairman's badge. Utility. The official badge proves that you have mastered the ancient art of toaster repair. Toaster repair plus one. Nice. Okay, we'll do everything. Uh, I guess uh, you get the toaster repair badge because you are our toaster repair guy, right? Yep, so now he has four, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and what's the Tarjan thing? Uh, so we have a hard ass. Uh, hmm. Okay, so we can only see these here. So this Tarjan thing... What does it do? Nothing? There's something that we can sell? It doesn't say that it's... junk so this thing gives you hard ass plus one so does anyone have hard ass oh we have kiss ass Okay. I guess we'll give you the hard ass thing. And then 
can this be go anywhere? Can you click it or something? No. Seems like it's nothing. Okay. Well, toaster repair is a good skill. I guess. The only thing we really got out of it so far is being better at repairing toasters. So far. Okay, now, let's head in here. Huh. The garage. You get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Yeah. And did we have a mechanic? I forget what the skills were. I don't think we did. Oh yeah, we do. Mechanics 3. Okay. So, can you repair that? We're peering inside the crew robot's case and we found a lot of salvaged parts and new wiring. Someone's been working on the robot for a while. There's a bad connection to the power supply, strong enough to give someone a wicked shock. It takes some careful work to repair the connection. As soon as the short is repaired, the robot spotters to life. Returns a cold, unfeeling optical sensor towards you, and its weapons spin up. Okay. Time for talking's over. So I was kind of hoping that it would be friendly, but I guess not. Um, let's run back here. I feel like we need to back away from it. Ah, what? Ah, what? Ah, oh, man! Okay, so that's something that I need to remember. is down and that did not go well. So the uh, hawk we don't have any uh, let's see you're not on fire anymore. He could definitely do with some healing. You don't have any healing, you don't have any healing. And we don't have any healing on us. Medic pack. Let's try that. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see what's in here. Ooh, nice slicer, dicer, dicer, self-assembler. Assembler. It's missing a couple subsystem, but this is basically mostly an entire slicer dicer, and it puts itself together correctly, like almost every time. <laughs> nice. Okay. Uh, we need mechanic seven 
but we can get that. And there's a pulse gun, assault rifle, pre-war, the laser dazzler was used in riot control since then, the laser has been cranked to hell up. Okay, requires sort of automatic weapons 3, we have that on someone. Energy cells, shorted control chip, and a charge chassis. Okay. Okay. Now, I think that laser weapon was pretty nice. 10 to 11 damage, 13 to 17 damage. Let's use that. How many energy cells do we have? Okay. Don't we have energy cells? I thought we had energy cells somewhere. I'm pretty sure we had energy cells somewhere. Why don't I see our energy cells? Okay, never mind. We'll figure it out. But yours does 8 to 11. This does 10 to 11. Can we switch over? We can. Oh, it, but this one has an ability. Okay. I guess we'll use that then. All right. So let's head out of here. Systems active. Greetings, Rangers. Thanks. Leave Ranger headquarters. Take the load into the car and head to the world map. Take the footpath to downtown Colorado Springs. Um, I think we'll take the footpath to downtown Colorado Springs. But we'll do that in the next one, guys. We are out of time. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.